Michael Irvin and his attorneys fought hard for this video, said it would prove his innocence, and said they wanted you to see it. Now, the interaction between Irvin and this hotel employee, it lasts less than two minutes. We are going to speed up some parts of it, though, to walk you through it all. Their initial interaction is just partly obscured by a column in the lobby. Then they appear to shake hands, talk, and Irvin seems to touch her elbow briefly. She steps back. They keep talking. About 70 seconds pass. He touches her other elbow, laughs. They shake hands and walk away. Irvin looks back and appears to slap himself in the face. Irvin's attorney said the employee did not look uncomfortable to them and focused on a man several feet away who can be seen clapping, suggesting he, who they believe is the woman's manager, might have been angry with her for talking to Irvin. Of course, the one thing this video does not have, audio. On a radio show after this first happened, Irvin said he had a few drinks, didn't really remember the incident, but today said their conversation was about football, the shows he worked on, and where the employee could watch them. In a filing last week, Marriott claimed instead he made sexually explicit comments to the employee. Here is Irvin's response to that. So, you know, I, I, I don't speak like that. You know what I mean? I, I've never spoken like that. So I'm, I'm not even, yeah, I, I totally deny saying that. I totally deny saying that. And yesterday, Irvin voluntarily dismissed his $100 million lawsuit against Marriott, but immediately refiled a new one in Arizona, listing Marriott, the hotel operating company, and four individuals as defendants, including that hotel employee. We reached out to Marriott for a comment. A spokesperson said they have no comment at this time. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing. What's up, everybody? And you are listening to the best of the Media Mike radio show, Sponsored by New Justice Media, I'm your host, the Media Mike Speaks, where we are the voice of the everyday citizen. The time is now, 35 minutes here past the hour in the Lone Star State, so let's get to this story before it's too late. All right, good people, I'm pretty sure, like a lot of people, you've been waiting in anticipation. Yes, the tape is out. It is. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts about this, because I'm about to give mine. And look, let's just keep the emotions out of it and... The thing is, there is no audio. So, and I know I've read some comments regarding uh, the tape, you know, when I review some things. And this is a civil case. Bear in mind, you, it, it, is, it is a civil case. So, and Mr. Irving's attorneys are doing their best. They're doing their job to defend. That's what a defense attorney does, even in civil and criminal uh, their job is to defend their client to the best of their ability, no no matter the outcome. It is to get the best deal. Uh, so here, his attorneys are doing what they're doing. But however, I have some reservations here. Yes, as you saw on the tape, there's some things that transpired. Now, I'm going to break this down for you. Now, there, are people, there were people that would say that, hey, oh, well, I didn't see anything wrong. I didn't see anything. I didn't see. Look, it's not about what you saw, what you saying. You didn't see anything wrong. It's about the cooperation, the, the cooperation of what the victim stated and what occurred. Are they linked together? Is there some truth to it? Because, well, you know how people say it's, it's, it's one person's truth, the other person's truth, and then somewhere in the middle lies the truth so and here we are here see here's the tape and then people are all they're still saying well i didn't see anything wrong and i see anything wrong well, it's not about what what you saw we'll get to that but it's also about what was said and if the body language backs it up you see and this is where the judge will come in can you cooperate the story and i would say between 60 to 70 percent in my professional opinion goes to Marriott now yeah uh, Mr. Irvin has at least 30-40% going in his favor but according to the last two videos I did maybe three you know this most likely may be the last one because hey the tape is out you know the, the initial story the victim stated that an uncomfortable gesture was made and then uh, uh, she moved away that does show that the, the first initial, he went to grab uh, his left hand on her right arm and she did step away. She did move back like something like, hey, you know, whatever, like like she did step back. 
And she did kind of step back again and maybe, you know, his attorney said she told a joke or something. Anyway, when his attorney said, well, he stepped up and she didn't move back. Well, there was no need. There was a gap. He didn't make any any more advance toward her the third time. He just stepped, made one step. She stood there. She put her hands behind her back. You see, that's another gesture as to not, no more contact as far as, you know, us shaking hands out there, even though that did come later. Now, also, regarding the slap. It, okay, it's slap, yeah. But what was said, now, here's the thing. They didn't say, they, they didn't initially say she said that because she had went on into the bar area. They did not say that. They just said he did do that, and it did show that he did do that. Now, he was walking with someone. I don't know if it was uh, the security officer, one of the patrons. I'm not sure. And did he say what he said, like, bad Mike, bad Mike? You know, or did he say something else like she bad, she bad, and I always hit that or whatever. So did they interview those people? They probably did, because if the body language coincides with most likely what was said, the judge it, it, the judge could possibly rule, rule in favor of the victim in Marriott. Just saying. You see. Now, I am pretty sure they have talked to Mr. Irving, his attorneys. And ask him this question. Did you slap your face? Number one. Did you say those things? Did you say she bad? She bad. Did you do all of that? Now, he may have said, you know, you know, it's not good to lie to your attorney. He probably said, I did slap my face. Or he may say, say, may have said he doesn't remember. But if he did say it, that's not going to be brought out. The attorney is just going to defend like he's doing. Now, as far as the other things that may have been said, as far as. Uh, have you ever had a, a, a black man and this and that? I don't know. That sounds a little bit stretching it. That not not saying I'm in the bath, Mr. Irving, but that does sound like I'm on Mr. Irving's side with that one. That just sounds like you just overreach, overreach. Now this manager clapping the hands or whatever. Hey, he's a manager. I don't know what that's about, but sometimes when you're dealing with high end hotels, high end restaurants. For those of you in that field, you know, and you have a lot of high-end profile people come, coming in there. Now, you bear in mind, now, this is what, Arizona, outside of Vegas. This is the Vegas area. Look, now, you have a lot of people coming through there. And it's like, look, no fraternizing. I don't know if they have that in their policy. They may have it. You can't be lingering too long. You can't be lost too long. I don't know. But you need to, you know, be serving the guest or whatever. So, that could be something to that. I'm not sure. But normally, when you deal with managers... You know, micromanagers, he seemed like this guy seemed like he was the type of person. You know, he's like, you know, you know, hand clapping, you know, like he like he's in uh, Dubai or something, you know, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, this does not look well. His attorneys, Mr. Irving, I mean, have their work, their work cut out for them here. Uh as far as him dismissing the lawsuit in Texas, I'm not sure. I don't know why he picked it up in Arizona. Uh, that is something there too. That is dropped here in the Lone Star State and it's picked up in Arizona. From what I see, it does not look too good as far as the cooperation with what was said followed up by the actions. Body language at first does not look positive. It looks a little negative. And I don't know what she later on. She got more comfortable, but she did put her hands behind her back, and it was like, hey. So also, let me point this out. Michael Irving's witnesses, the two gentlemen from Australia, remember the, those two gentlemen? They did say the interaction was no more than about maybe less than a minute, forty seconds, under a minute. That was longer than both of those. That's not looking good for Mr. Irving either. That, that 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 means they would not really in earshot or see the whole interaction. It, it was longer than that. It was longer than that. You see. So you see here, those things are not going. Those are not going in Mr. Irving's favor. That's going more toward Marriott. Now, what was said that had to be up to the judge, you know. Um, and but if they can look, if they can weigh more on. What was said, followed up by the body language, it's not going to look good. If he settles, if Mr. Irving settles, well, we can say if he does that, that's goodbye ESPN, CNN, NFL broadcasting. I, I, I predict, I predict, I predict. They're going to say, well, they were right. 
yeah, what he did was inappropriate and they were right. So he's lost that. You see. So is this a warning to other high profile individuals about talking to people and all of that? You know, I don't know. Um, I mean, be careful. And what I did see, too, what a lot of people did not see is where he did seem like he blocked her interest entrance from going in. If you watch it again, she was going hit or toward to go into the bar area and he came and he blocked that. Bear in mind that his back is toward the door of going into the bar area and that's what she's supposed to go in. He came and he blocked that. And that may come out on Marriott's side. I don't know. But based on my background, I noticed things like that. Would there be something to it? I'm not sure. So anyway, I just want to jump on here to talk about this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are going to get in their feelings and emotions and go, well, I didn't see anything wrong. I didn't see, I didn't see. Yeah, but you got to look at what was what was what was he was accused of and what the body language showed. You see, because I, I kept reading in the past videos, reading about slapping the face and bad Michael, bad Michael. He did do that. Did he say it? I don't know. But he did do it. You see. That's the thing. <laughs> did she move away when he did come to her? Yes, she did. Did she do it later? No, but she did. See, these things corroborate the story. That's what doesn't make him look good here. But I hope he comes out okay. Maybe Marriott will settle. I'm not sure. But if he settles, it's not good. Until next time, this is your guy. Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night.